Good morning, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. It's time for some hard truth. <coughs> if you're preparing to get your immediate dentures, preparing for your extractions, preparing to get dentures, or preparing to have your teeth pulled and wait 8, 10, 12, 16, 18 weeks, a month, 6 months, 8 months, a year to get your dentures. There's going to be some hard truth in this video because you need to know. The simple fact of the matter is you can watch as many videos as you want. You can talk to your doctor. You can talk to as many people as you can find that have dentures. And absolutely nothing is going to prepare you for having dentures. What I mean by that <coughs> is that I can sit here and explain to you what it felt like to get my immediate dentures how much pain I was in, uh, the difficulty trying to get used to them, the difficulty trying to learn how to eat with them, and everything else. And I can try to prepare you mentally for the challenge. But the simple fact is, you can understand, you can say, okay, I understand, I get it, I'm, I'm prepared now. But the fact is, no words, no words can explain to you what it's going to feel like. No words. You cannot fully comprehend what it means to have dentures until you actually have them in your mouth. It's going to feel like your mouth is full and you're going to hurt. Not everybody. There are some people out there that get all their teeth pulled and get immediate dentures and have no pain, which whew, they better count their blessings because they're a rare species. <laughs> a rare species. They're rare individuals. To try to explain to you that you're going to be sore in places you never thought you'd be sore in. Under the tongue. Where that? Under the tongue. Right there. That's going to rub right here on this seemingly smooth part of the denture right here. But your tongue's not used to rubbing on something. It's going to hurt. You're going to get sore under your tongue. A pain that you've never experienced before. A pain that is going to shock your system and you're going to be like, what the hell? Your lips the crease in your lips down here in the crease the denture pushes your lip out and down your lips aren't used to doing that your lips are used to laying flush with the gum and being able to come up now you got something pushing out and down on that crease pressure that's never been there before this this right here is going to hurt. It's going to get sore. It's going to hurt. Up here, right under the nose, right under the sinuses where the denture pushes up and out on the lip is going to get sore. It's going to be painful. Over here in the cheek areas where the denture pushes up and out. And I know you think, oh, well dentures are pretty thin. 
You know, how could that bother me? It will. And I can explain all this to you and you will still not be prepared. The simple fact is I can sit and explain to somebody in detail what it's going to feel like, where they're going to have sores, how painful it's going to be, how to control that pain as best as possible. I can explain all that and it's still not going to prepare you for what you're going to go through. The fact of the matter is that you have to make a decision. Do you want to live with your teeth and that if your teeth are rotten, do you want to live with that poison running through your entire system or do you want to bite the bullet and deal with this pain and this anguish and this frustration and this aggravation and this emotional roller coaster for you know, two weeks, a month, six weeks, two months, three months, six months, however long it takes you to heal and, and get over those soreness and be able to function with your dentures. That's what you have to prepare for. As far as your mouth feeling full, I tell people all the time, that I know personally that are going to be getting dentures. And I tell them, go get a couple of mouth guards, go get an upper and lower mouth guard at the sports store, Walmart has them, upper and lower mouth guards. And put those in your mouth and try to talk. And just wear those for a day. Wear them all day because that full feeling you have in your mouth, that feeling of, you know, try to drink something, that feeling of fullness in your mouth is what it's gonna feel like when you have dentures for the first time. Your mouth is going to feel like it's so full that you can't take a bite of anything. You're gonna have difficulty swallowing for the simple fact that you now have something in your mouth that's a foreign object it doesn't belong there. Your mouth is going to salivate tremendously because it's trying to dissolve what's in your mouth. It think your mouth thinks that's food and then it's supposed to dissolve it. Every time you swallow, your mouth is going to try to figure out how am I going to swallow these things that are in my mouth that aren't dissolving. So when you put something else in your mouth and try to swallow, it's going to be difficult because you're trying to swallow two things at once, basically. You're trying to swallow your dentures. Literally, your mouth is going to try to figure out how can I swallow these? That This must be food. That doesn't belong there. They must be food. I have to swallow these. And it takes time to train your brain that these belong here. It's not an easy path to walk, my friends. And I'm not telling you this to scare you. I'm telling you this to try to prepare you mentally a little bit more. Now, yes, you can watch my earlier videos where I cuss and swear and I'm pissed off and, and you know, I'm showing you that I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna lay down and, and you know, cry like a baby. I'm gonna force these dentures to become part of my life. But that still doesn't ex it, that still doesn't prepare you for the mental roller coaster and the pain. It's it's a difficult it, it'll be one of the most difficult challenges you take on in your life. You're not just going to put your dentures in, get your teeth pulled, put your dentures in, and go eat a steak. 
it's going to be a difficult challenge. It's going to be a difficult road. I can prepare you somewhat, but absolutely no one, nobody, until you actually have dentures in your mouth, you will never understand what it's like to have dentures until you actually have them in your mouth. I can sit here and talk to somebody with natural teeth all day long about the issues I have with eating and how I've had to learn how to eat and how I've had to learn how to chew and how I had to learn how to speak differently and and all this other stuff. And they can sit there and go, oh, yeah, I understand. I understand you explain it very well. But they really don't understand. They really don't understand. Until you have these in your mouth, you will never, ever fully understand what it means to have dentures. And I'm not trying to be mean here, and I'm not trying to scare anybody away from getting dentures. Getting my dentures was the best thing I've ever done for myself in my entire 53 years of living. It's been the best thing I've ever done for myself. But the simple fact remains that nothing I say or anybody else says, no amount of videos you watch, no amount of people you talk to, nothing can completely prepare you for getting dentures. You will never fully understand what it means to have dentures until you actually have them in your mouth. That's truth. That's hard truth, but it's truth. I can help you through the process once you get your dentures. If you've watched my older videos and you've seen my anger and my frustration and the mental roller coaster I was on, you can kind of prepare for that. You'll, you'll understand once you get the dentures, you, then you'll go, oh, okay, well, now I understand why he was so pissed off. Now I understand the roller coaster of mental emotions. But until you actually get the dentures in your mouth, you will never understand what it's like to wear dentures. There's no way you can. Just like I can sympathize with somebody that has a prosthetic arm and they can explain in detail how they can use their arm pretty much as well as they used to use their other arm. You know, they can explain to me all the little electrodes and contact points and, you know, how they learned how to use their arm and they can pick up a cup of coffee and, and you know, just concentration and stuff like that but I still have my natural arms. I will never, ever fully understand what it means to have a mechanical arm. Until such time that I may possibly need one one day. I will never fully comprehend what that means. You will never fully comprehend what it means to have dentures until the day you have them in your mouth. That's the hard truth of things. And like I said, I'm not trying to scare anybody away from having dentures. I think dentures are a necessity. And I think that once you get your dentures, you need to immediately tell yourself, I own these bitches. I'm going to make these bitches part of my mouth. Plain and simple. You know, you need to you need to focus on that and I can prepare you for that somewhat. 
as soon as you get those dentures in your mouth, start focusing on the positives because the negatives will take over your life if you let them. Start thinking about the positives. I got rid of the rot. I got rid of the nasty in my mouth. So I don't have to deal with that anymore. I have a decent smile. I can, I can actually smile at people now and not be embarrassed. Think of the positives because if you don't start thinking of the positives immediately when you get your dentures, the negatives are gonna overrun your life. <clears throat> you need to look in the mirror a lot. Just look in the mirror and get used to your new look. You may think that your teeth are way too big, but they're not. It's because the denture is pushing up your lip like this. So when your lip is pushed up, the teeth look a lot bigger than they are. You need to do exercises and it's going to hurt like hell, but you need to stretch your lips over your teeth and suck them into your mouth. And it's going to hurt all up in here and it's going to hurt all down through here. But if you do that every time you think about it for the first couple of weeks, that pain will go away. Your lips will stretch out to accommodate the dentures and that pain will go away. But there's exercises you need to do. Nobody told me that. I'm telling you. You need to start eating immediately, as soon as you can. Yes, it's going to hurt. Eat a bowl of stew. Don't just live on liquids and puddings and jellos, you know? You need to push yourself and fight through that pain. Dentures suck for the first little while. That's the hard truth. Dentures suck. Whether you got them immediate dentures or whether you waited eight or 10 or 12 weeks or seven months or a year, dentures suck for the first little while. That's the truth. I hope this gives you a better understanding of how you're not going to be prepared until the dentures are actually in your mouth. You're not gonna fully understand what, it's, what it is to wear dentures until they're actually in your mouth. I know this is hard truth. And like I said, I'm not trying to scare anybody away from getting dentures. I've dedicated my life to helping people get through the denture process. But the truth is the truth. Keep that in mind. I hope everybody has an amazing day. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.